Hi, I'm Joe Prayer from Boston College EMS, and you're watching a Boston College EMS training video. This specific training video will be on anaphylaxis and the interventions and medications that you can administer to effectively treat your patient with possible anaphylactic shock. The video will be split into two halves. The first half will be lecture-based, where I'll be talking about the signs and symptoms, assessment, and interventions that you can use to effectively treat a patient in anaphylactic shock. The second portion will go through an assessment of a person in anaphylactic shock in real time and will pause intermittently to be interactive and ask you questions about what the EMT should do next, what they did wrong, and other trivia questions. First, we'll talk about the signs and symptoms of someone in anaphylactic shock. There are several signs and symptoms when responding to a patient with anaphylactic shock or an allergic reaction that you should be aware of. First and foremost, your patient might be in respiratory distress or having difficulty breathing. This can be indicated by the way that they're breathing and their respiratory rate, if they're using accessory muscles, or if they're in a position such as the tripod position, which might be indicative of their difficulty breathing. Next, you should be aware that the patient might have uticaria or hives all throughout their body or in a localized spot. The patient might also be itchy or have redness throughout their body or again in just one localized area. Typically with anaphylactic patients, their BP might be depressed because of the vasodilation that's going on throughout their body. Furthermore, their heart rate might be elevated to compensate for this vasodilation and they might also be excited or nervous about the situation. These are just some of the signs and symptoms that can help you realize when a patient is in anaphylactic shock. Once you determine that a patient might have anaphylactic shock based on the signs and symptoms that they exhibit, your next step is to perform an adequate assessment. When going through your sample history, signs and symptoms, allergies, medications, past medical history, last oral intake, and events leading up to the incident, you really want to focus on three of those items. The first item is allergies. If a patient has any known allergies, this might help you find out whether or not they were exposed to the allergy based on the situation that they were in. That's where events comes in. Finding out what the patient was doing might help you realize that they were exposed to an allergen which could have led to the signs and symptoms being exhibited. There are several interventions or medications you can administer to effectively treat someone in anaphylactic shock. As noted in the assessment portion of the sample history, there are three items of particular importance. The last item, which has not been discussed yet, is medications. One medication that is very important for someone in anaphylactic shock is epinephrine. On the BLS level, epinephrine typically comes in an auto-injector, also known as an EpiPen. We'll discuss how to properly administer an EpiPen in the next segment. There is also one other intervention which you can administer to help effectively treat your patient. As with any patient that is experiencing difficulty breathing, oxygen therapy should be performed. This can be done best by using a non-rebreather mask at 15 liters per minute. To administer an EpiPen effectively, the first step is to make sure that it meets the six rights. Next, you need to remove the safety cap, which is on the end opposite to where the needle will come out. Hold the EpiPen like so in the palm of your hand without any fingers on either end. The reason for this is because an EpiPen is pressure sensitive. Any pressure might lead to the needle accidentally coming out. To administer the EpiPen, it needs to be administered on the thigh region because it's an intramuscular administration. To do so, you need to swing at a 90 degree angle to the thigh and press firmly. Hold down for 10 seconds. Count out loud. After 10 seconds, release the EpiPen and rub the area for 5 seconds. That is how you effectively administer an EpiPen.
Hi, I'm John on EMT. What's your name? Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Can you tell me what's going on? Um, I was running and I got stung by a bee. Okay, you got stung by a bee. Are you having yeah. any difficulty breathing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Have you ever been stung by a bee before? Yeah, I'm allergic. Okay, when were you last stung by a bee? Um, I was younger, about a couple years ago. Okay, and the same symptoms occurred? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any itchiness? Kind of. On my arm. On your arm? Are there any hives anywhere on your body? I think so. On your arm right here? Yeah. Anywhere else? I haven't really checked. Okay, Ian, I do see some hives, um, and he has, is having difficulty breathing. His respiratory rate is elevated. What is another good question that can be asked to get a complete history? If you said D, you were right. Let's get him on oxygen therapy okay. via non rebreather, 15 minutes per minute. I'm just going to get a quick pulse for you, Kevin. Kevin, are you on any medications? Uh, no, I, I have an EpiPen for this, but I forgot it. Okay. No other medications? No. Okay, any other allergies? Uh, no. His pulse is 100 beats per minute. I'm just going to get a quick BP. Okay, Kevin, I'm going to put this oxygen on you, and you're just going to breathe normally. Okay? What would be another good assessment tool to use? That's right, it's D, listening to lung sounds for wheezing. Do you want the pulse socks? Um, yeah, why don't we get a pulse socks reading? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this jacket off so we can get a better reading. Okay, Kevin, you're His BP is 100 over 60, so I have a Did you, Were you able to get a respiratory rate? Uh, 26. Okay. Kevin, we're going to administer an EpiPen, okay? Yeah. So it's just going to be some pressure in your thigh, and the administration is going to be right into your muscle, okay? What should the EMTs do before administering the EpiPen? If you said C, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-se